Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to install a Stage 1 Arlen S Big Sucker Air Cleaner Kit on my 2018 Harley Davidson Sport Glide. First, remove the stock air cleaner cover by taking out these five screws. For this, we're going to be using a T25 Torx bit. Once you have those out, carefully remove the stock cover. Next step, you need to remove the stock air filter by taking out these three screws, again using the same T25 Torx bit. Remove the breather tubes from the breather bolts behind the air filter to disconnect. Next, you want to remove these two breather bolts to get the back plate removed from the throttle body. Take a 3 16 socket and remove the bolts. With the bolts out, remove the back plate to expose the throttle body. To remove the support bracket, first clip off the zip tie that secures the wire to it. Now be careful not to clip the wire in this step. Free the support bracket by removing the two hex bolts with an Allen key. The support bracket will now slide right out. Take this time to inspect your throttle body and clean off any dirt or residue or gunk that's in there by using some brake cleaner and a soft rag. And this completes the removal of the stock air cleaner. Let's move on to assembling and installing the big sucker. After unboxing all the contents, here is everything that is included with the Big Sucker kit. And the first thing we're going to install is the Arlen Ness branded throttle body badge. There are two short chrome button screws that will be used to install this plate. Throw a few drops of blue Loctite on the threads of the screws before putting the badge in place. This badge will be filling in the space where we took out the throttle body support bracket. Take a 5mm Allen key and snug down the screws. Be sure not to over tighten. Next step, take your backing plate and install the two black vent tubes into the slots of the bracket. Make sure the tubes are pointed inward toward the throttle body. When that's done, take the two small socket head screws as well as the reservoir and reservoir gasket provided and sandwich the gasket to the backing plate face. Apply a little blue Loctite to the screw threads and snug them in with a 9 Allen key. Mm -hmm. 
We're then going to take our four O-rings and install them into the notches on the front and back of our backing plate where the two new breather bolts will go. To keep these O-rings in place during install, just use a little all-purpose grease, cover the rings and put a little bit in the notches to keep them from going anywhere during the install of the backing plate. Next, take the two breather bolts, the throttle body gasket, your blue Loctite, and the three provided screws to secure the backing plate to the throttle body. Again, apply some blue Loctite to the three backing plate screws. Insert the screws and place the gasket on the back of the plate so that the screws are going through the gasket. Now line everything up and start threading the screws in place. Screw these in loosely and use a 3 16th hex bit. Remember not to fully tighten until we get our breather bolts threaded in. Again take some blue Loctite and apply it to the threads of the breather bolts. Start threading them into place evenly until snug using a quarter inch hex bit. Now torque the three screws you installed before to 8 to 10 foot pounds. For the breather bolts, torque them to 14 to 16 foot pounds. Now we're going to take the air filter and secure it onto the backing plate using the steel top plate and two remaining long screws. Loctite the threads of the two screws. Place your air filter onto the backing plate, then take your steel top plate and secure the filter by lining up the top plate with the screw holes on the backing plate. Insert your screws and start threading them in evenly with a 3 16th hex bit or allen key. When snug, torque these to 8 to 10 foot-pounds. Now our last and probably easiest step is to put on your decorative cover. For the last time, apply some blue Loctite to the threads of the bolt. For the chrome cover I chose, I will be using the shorter of the two provided center bolts as well as the shorter spacer. Place the spacer on the back side of the cover and insert your center bolt. Now line up your cover and snug down the center bolt with a 3 16 hex or allen key. Lastly, torque the center bolt to 1 to 2 foot pounds. Alright, and this will complete the install of the Arlen Nest Big Sucker to your Milwaukee 8 soft tail.
Well everybody, thanks for joining me in today's video, and make sure to watch out for my next video where I complete the stage 1 of my Sport Glide by tuning my bike using the FP3 Fuel Pack by Vance and Hines. Make sure and like, subscribe, and bell the D-Cycle channel for future content, and remember to always take it sleazy, and I'll see you in the next video.